Hi, this is Tanya with the Aquaponics Source. And today we're talking about bad bacteria and how to keep it out of your greenhouse. No matter what size you grow in, you want to make sure that you keep the bad bacteria out of your growing space. Fish do not produce pathogenic E. coli, salmonella, listeria, or anything else that's a concern. However, the aquaponic environment is the perfect place for bacteria to grow. Remember, we encourage nitrifying bacteria. So we have the perfect environment of warm water, of a nutrient-rich food source, and a lot of oxygen. A perfect place for bacteria. So we wanna encourage the good bacteria while preventing the bad bacteria. Some of the things that you can do to ensure that you don't get any bad bacteria into your system would be, number one, Make sure that you change your shoes from the outside of your greenhouse when you're coming in. We like to have a spare set just ready to go uh, so that we don't even have to think about it. Number two, if you don't have shoes to change into, make sure you use a foot bath. We use just tap water and then we add a hydrogen peroxide 34% solution to make sure that we kill anything that might be on those shoes. It's great for visitors or anyone coming into the greenhouse, but make sure you don't get it on your skin. It's very, very itchy. Third, we wash our hands before we uh, do any work in the greenhouse. This prevents bringing in any contaminants that might otherwise uh, be on your skin or use a hand sanitizer if you don't have a, a sink in, indoors. All of this is necessary because if you were working on soil, you'd have a lot of mycelium and bacteria, fungi, a whole ecosystem of things that would break down those bad bacteria if they were to show up. But in a greenhouse, you're playing mother and father nature. The fact that you would uh, walk into your space would be the point of introduction. So you as humans have the potential for introducing those bad bacteria. Pets can also be a problem or wild birds, squirrels, rodents, uh, lizards, salamanders, frogs, anything that can get into your greenhouse space could potentially introduce that contaminant. So sealing up your greenhouse using screen mesh if uh, you have roll up side greenhouses to prevent birds and other animals to get from getting in and just making sure you are not the vector of transmission. We have the potential to control it. Once it's inside, it's very hard to eradicate it. So I'd really, really recommend doing everything you can to keep your growing space safe. And as a student one asked me, if we have salmon, would we get salmonella? The answer is no, but make sure that you're growing safe. You're going to be happy about it as so will your aquaponic system.